So uh, we have another uh, project for you guys. So where do you get this? Goodwill. Goodwill? Yeah. It's a nice little, little end table. Or what's it called? It? Cocktail table? What are we Coffee using today? Table. Just just Our go to go. Hey, kitty cat. Shut up. Good. Apply some of the citrus strip all over. Don't be afraid to use a lot. Don't be afraid to use a lot. That's a lot. That's too much. <laughs> That's not. She's always afraid to use too much of the shit. Too much. Apply it all over. Last application we took was like what, 30, 30 minutes and it came out perfectly fine? Yeah. Yeah. This is kind of cool because it has like different, they etched it, not etched it, but like they apply different wood grain, different pieces of wood in it. It's pretty impressive. Yeah, it's definitely a work of art. Yeah. So that's not painted, that's actual other pieces of wood. Look at that, it's so pretty. It's really nice. So now we let that uh, citrus strip sit for about, how long did we let it sit for? Like 40 minutes? <laughs> See how it goes all, it's all peeling it off. All right, we're gonna now go with the grain with this plastic spatula. Like it's a shadow. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that, just scraping it off. Nasty. Sorry for the lighting people, but this is nasty. Oh wow, it's looking, wow. wow we, I love when we strip it and the natural wood, wood grain comes out. So pretty. So stoked that this thing came in different, you know, wood patterns and wood, different types of wood. Look at that, wow, that's pretty. So what we're gonna do here is strip it clean it and then not stain it right yeah decided just to spray the urethane on it yeah so we could see what um, the natural wood because it actually looks good we don't want to paint anything that we don't have to so there's a one two three four different color woods on there yeah four look at that it's so pretty Sometimes with like these, um, they use what dyes in the in the in the finish, and it kind of covers up the mask, masks up the natural wood. wood. The wood grain. Yeah. I don't know what they were thinking back then. They're like, let's cover up this wood grain. Oh, it's just or the finish actually became hazy and just old. old and can't see the wood grain anymore. So I love that we do this so we could see the natural prettiness of the wood. Yeah, it's so nasty. Look at that. That's what I was curious right. about. Yeah, <laughs> just gunked up. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds gross. <laughs> press hard. Yeah, there you go. Don't be scared at it. Just press hard. The plastic. Well, the putty knife is. Now to clean it with mineral spirits, we put it in a little receptacle and we're going to put it on there in circle motions, get all the, the stuff off, the old finish and gunk stuff off. Damn, that's noisy. Here, let me put my foot down. <laughs> and you keep wanting you keep want to dip in it, keep on, you want to keep dipping it. Circle, 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 make sure it's wet, nice and wet. 
Tipping, 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 tipping. Tipping. Scrub it all off. <laughs> Let's put my foot on it so it'll stop moving. <laughs> Now it's time to wipe it off. Get all that nastiness off. It should come off with ease if you rubbed it right, but enough mineral spirits. Easier wipe off? A little bit. That's a lot of gunk. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> That's why you make sure you bring a nice roll. Look at that roll. Probably gonna finish half of it just wiping it off. But it's looking better though, right? <laughs> Multiple rags. Don't be afraid to keep using that mineral spirit to get all that gunk off because you want it all off. You're either going to sand it or you finish it. Chances are you're going to need to sand it because we have some weird spot right there going on. <laughs> uh, so once you get your initial gunk off, then you can use the mineral spirits with a rag because you got all the, you scuffed it all up with the with the steel wool. Like I said, don't be afraid to reuse the steel wool. This is the cleaning part of it. Getting all that old finish off of it. Don't afraid to get rough. See that spot right there? Move your hand. Probably gonna need to do it again or sand that off. Hey, we might even have to use a citrus strip again, you know? Who knows? This is what it looks like after we cleaned it with all that mineral spirits and whatnot. It's still kind of some spots or didn't come out as we planned. So we're going to finish that with some sandpaper to see if it comes out. Um, let's see. Yeah, it seems to be coming out. We're gonna take the, the rest of it and take the sandpaper to the rest of it. Smooth it all out, take the rest of the that sheen out. Um, yeah, take the rest of it out and get back to you. Give it a nice little sand with the 220 grit. Um, then I had to redo the sides with the citrus strip because it didn't come out the way I wanted because I, I didn't too much I just dry brushed it but we'll wait for that to do that um, looks good a lot of the blotchiness came off that I was scared of um, so I'm gonna wait for this to, draw, to come off and then I'm gonna hit it again with the mineral spirits and then the wood conditioner now that it's all wiped clean with the mineral spirits it's time to use so I'm stained pre-conditioner, pre-stained wood. We're not going to stain it, but we still want to pre-condition the wood, uh, make it harder and whatnot. Um, for that application, we're going to use the roller. Let's get started. Pre-stain. Let that soak up a little bit. Not too much. Not too much. Let that soak up a little bit. Drip out. You don't want too much in there. Okay, now get it on. Doesn't really matter as long as you just get it nice and soaking wet. I don't have the talent here today, so it's just gonna be me rolling on the preconditioner. Rolling on the preconditioner. So let's get this rolling. Now that we applied the stained wood conditioner, um, it's really seen a lot of characteristics of the wood which is beautiful everything's popping out beautifully so let this dry and then we'll come back to you to see how it looks but so far it looks freaking gorgeous it's an antique it's been it's pretty damn old um so it's probably gonna be a little dry so it's gonna help it harden the wood and whatnot i'll get back to you a quick tip you let it dry um you wipe off the excess you don't want to let it dry on there um, but because it'll make it look blotchy, so you want to dry rag, um, rub it off. 
So we're gonna do a couple layers of this to this. <laughs> there it looks really, really pretty, but it's gonna look better with that. So let's start spraying. Remember, side to side. It was windy. It was a lot windy earlier. Wow. Wow. <laughs> That's pretty. You want to do one thin coat at a time, Karen. Come on. That's fine. It's pretty. Already, you can see the difference already. Nice. I'm really floored the way this thing came out. This thing looks gorgeous. It's still drying a little bit, but that's pretty much what it's gonna look like. Just gorgeous. All the, everything pops out beautifully. This is beautiful. The grain really pops out. The color, the tones, the warms, everything is just, I can't, I'm just lost for words. It's stupid gorgeous. Well, you never know what it's gonna look like if you're seeing something in, like, in a thrift store and it looking crappy, the finish is all messed up and water stains and because you don't, you know, people don't respect the wood. <laughs> we gotta respect the wood. It looks great. I'm stoked. It's beautiful. On to the next one.